out there world, my name is Chris. I'm retired working for you. Welcome to another beach walk. We're in Raleigh Beach East. And as epic as this whole beach looks from out here on the pier, the reason that I'm making this series of videos for you guys is to show you what all of these beaches in Thailand are like when you're here and for real and just kind of walking through them, seeing some places to stay, um, you know, getting some, I think we have three different places that we're gonna show you today, some resorts, some hotels, all different budget options. We also are doing videos of Raleigh West, which is the other side and Tonsai Beach, which is a super special place. So if you're looking for information on beaches in Thailand, which beaches should you go to? Where should you stay when you get there? And sometimes we'll even dig deep and even research the best rooms in these places. So this is a fun little series. It's called Thailand Beach Walks. And this is Raleigh Beach East. We're all the way out here on the end of this giant pier. And uh, this is where your long tail boats will come in. You, you take a long tail boat here actually from a pier called Ao Na Mo. Oh, look at this little bird here. The long tail boats will bring you in here. The places we're gonna look at are all on the right side of the pier. We have our trusty drone pilot helping us out, getting you some beautiful images. But, but, but before we go to where all the action is on this side of the pier, there's something that I did want to show you down at this end of Raleigh Beach East. The reason I wanted to bring you down to this end of the beach is to make sure that you don't miss out on Pranang Beach and Pranang Cave. This, this is a beautiful beach. I'm not gonna do a full beach walk because there's really not, it's not a beach you go to stay, but it's definitely worth walking down. So when you come here, no matter if you're on Raleigh East or Raleigh West, you definitely wanna walk down to the very end of Raleigh Beach East here. You'll come across this little, little store hangar right, and there's a beautiful path that goes through all these stalactites and stalagmites, and it goes to this insanely beautiful beach called Pranang Beach with a cave full of penises there. So go check out the cave full of penises. Anyway, we're here now at this end of Raleigh Beach East, and this is really the only part of this beach that has sand. The, I'll show you when we get down to the uh, next location, but they kind of built the retaining wall a little too close to the beach in my opinion. So this beach doesn't really have uh, a sandy beach per se. This is all the Riavadi Resort, full five star, crazy expensive. I also highlighted this in the Raleigh West Beach Walk because this thing is a massive property and it spans onto both, both beaches. This is normally where their private boat arrives and brings people to check in. So this is it. They own all the property at this end of the beach. So now why, why don't we walk? This is the start of the boardwalk here. And I'll walk you down there a bit. We'll fast forward. Like I said, we're gonna go to the other side of the pier and I got three different places to stay and I'll show you what they look like over here. We're on the boardwalk now, as you can see. And as you walk down this beach, there's several ways that you can cut back. So we're actually staying right now at the Sand Sea Resort on Raleigh West. So this is a road that takes you back all the way to Raleigh East. There's about three or four through fares like that that you can use to get between Raleigh East and Raleigh West. And that walk is literally a couple of hundred meters, maybe like less than five minutes for sure. So again, you come to this part of the world, there is no cars, there's no fumes from cars, no noises from cars. It's a different world here in Raleigh and uh, you should definitely check it out. Now let's head to the other side of that pier and see place number one. So at the end of the pier, um, I, we went down there before, remember? I showed you that end to get to that nice beach. You walk this way, and as you can see, 
This beach is full of all these mangrove trees. It's like a mangrove forest. So it's not a sandy beach. I definitely prefer myself to stay on Raleigh West, but I've met people who prefer it over here. I guess it's a little bit quieter. It's only a less than a five minute walk over to Raleigh West. Um, but as you can see, the view here looking out isn't anywhere near what it is over there. You can't swim here, um, but there is some nice places to stay. And on that note, uh, we're here right now. We're arriving at our first point of interest called the Bungatani Resort and Spa. Let me just show it to you. Bungatani, and I got some notes about this place. So it's a five-star resort. Some of these places, yeah, they look like they're open right now kind of places right now are semi-open. So if you're watching this video a year from now, don't judge it by how empty it is. I think you all remember a little thing called a pandemic. Um, but this place has 60 rooms, gets good uh, reviews, 8.8 out of 10 on booking.com. It's a nice peaceful spot. They have a little makeshift beach out here. This is what I'm saying. This is why you want to watch some more of these beach walks because I could see a place saying like, oh, look, we have a beach and we're here and it's nice and it's sandy and it's beautiful, but uh, they might just happen to frame out the mangroves that block your view looking out to the sea. Prices here range from about 1,500 baht a night for a standard room to 4,000 baht. Oh, they got a nice pool. This is, this is really nice here. Oh yeah, and over here, this is, see, this place is awesome. It's a great resort. It's framed in by these ridiculously epic cliffs. The setting itself is beautiful. I just prefer Raleigh West, but I could see why people would stay here. Certainly a nice resort. So if uh, being on a nice sandy beach isn't your priority and you prefer to dip in a pool, then this place named Bunga, Bunga Tani Resort and Spa, now you know more about it. Let's head down the, the boardwalk to the east, to the north end of Raleigh East and see two other places. I'm continuing to walk towards this far end of the beach, the north end of the beach and pass by some places like the Viewpoint restaurant that looked all right. We're gonna highlight a budget option here. It's called Blanco. You can get a place in here for like 170 baht a night up to maybe 700 baht a night. So you're talking like sub $10 a night you can get a place in here. Um, oh boy. Oh, so this place has a crazy amount of stairs to go up to it. Okay, I'm gonna take advantage of the fact that I have a drone to show you this place because I'm not gonna walk up those stairs. This is one of the reasons why I do these beach walks is to, you know, sh again, show you every little nook and cranny of what it's like in these places, for example. So yeah, this place, it does get some solid Google reviews and has a nice pool up there with a view. Yeah, 8.3 out of 10 on booking.com, 4.3 on Google. I don't know that I would stay there. Actually, I'm pretty sure that I wouldn't stay there, but hey, I, I, different strokes for different folks, right? Different people like different things. Some people probably like climbing up the stairs and just having their own little hideaway. That's what that place is, Blanco's. As I mentioned earlier, they built this uh, pier so that uh, they really blocked off the natural flow of the beach and, and what the natural flow of the beach would have been has been kind of blocked off here by the way that they put the, the pier down uh, this far up. The beach would naturally be sandy way back up into there. I guess there's reasons to do it, but it creates a beach uh, like this, which uh, wouldn't be my, my top pick. Raleigh West, baby, here's a link to that video. Uh, we're almost at the end here. Got one more place to show you though. Let's check it out.
We've walked all the way to the end and I'm starting to figure out Raleigh East. Raleigh East, a lot of those last places were just like Blanco where you walk upstairs and I bet when you get up there, it's nice, peaceful, secluded, laid back. And it might be for some of you out there. Those walks up the stairs for a place to stay aren't for me. Have too many Leos at night and I'd be a little worried about getting home. Oh, this is the Raleigh Great View. This is, I think, the last place here and you gotta walk all the way out to the end. But look at it, It's this place is super cool. You can get rooms in here for under 2,000 baht a night, so pretty good deals. Look at making up, making up some beverages here. Check this out. This place is pretty spectacular. So it's a big beach bar here and it's really busy actually. Man, it's packed. A lot of people eating, a lot of people drinking. And then you keep walking up here um, towards where the hotel grounds would be. But it's set in a lush jungle, sort of very secluded, peaceful, private atmosphere. And this place looks like it would be quite a getaway. So. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this Raleigh Beach East, Thailand Beach Walk. Okay, so that was Raleigh East and that was shot 12 months ago during the middle of the pandemic. That's why it was so empty and run down. But if you click right here, you can see a video I just shot of Raleigh West this week. And I got some big news over there in the Raleigh West video. So go ahead and give it a little click.